a lot of stuff. Uh, ooh, a recipe. I'll take a new recipe. Small bag of holding. A lot of money for that. A lot of money. Butter, fowl, edible moss. Ring of protection. Scimitar, two-handed blade. Those are very, very expensive. Uh, offer? No, 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 no. Clear. Whoops. You can take all of this stuff. I shall keep the the torch just in case. Hold on to that. Ah, oh, yeah, offer just like tries to equal as much stuff as possible. Let's see. Actually, I don't need this. I'll get rid of that. Bracers of armor plus one. Hmm. We'll sell all of these things. Is there like a sell all junk item? I mean, is there a sell all junk option? Oh, looks like offer does. Sells most of it. Perfect. I'll take your stuff. Thank you. Hi, Bakken. A frail, disheveled old man wearing a stained and tattered robe gives you a gloomy look. I'm Bakken, local herbalist. What brings you here? Tell me about yourself. What's there to tell? I'm an herbalist. Make potions and sell them. Gather herbs, roots, and berries. Broken size. I live in the forest, live off the land, since leaving Rastoff for these parts. I ended up a merchant here at Ola and Stonred's post. They let me in out of kindness. Help me with things. They bring me water or firewood when it's cold and the occasional barrel of honey. They're good people. We can use your help fighting the bandits. What's this coming from? You want an old man like me to fight? Here, take this potion. Consider that my help in your fight. The bandits here bother you as much as Svet and Olag. Maybe more. Help us get rid of them for good. Bakken scratches his head, then hums to himself. And puffs his chest out. Well, all right, I'll show those troublemakers. They'll learn better than to chase an old man around. Someone might even write up verses about me. Maybe even heroic ones. Lindsay gives you a wor worried uh, glance, then turns to Bakken. Please be careful. Go ahead and help and leave the heroic stuff, you hear? Talk later. All right, well, he'll help me a little bit. <laughs> Fighting defensive. Moralize. As you order. Oh, hey, look at the little doggy. Can you rotate the map in this? Or no? Uh, I, I would pet the floofy doggy, but I can't.
Let's see. Box contains various household and hunting tools. Rubbish unlikely to be helpful in battle. There's gotta be some other things around here to help us fight the bandits. I'll go ahead. Some disgusting slush in the pot. Seems to be tar. Spilling tar near the bandit trading post interest would help slow down the bandits. Ooh. Uh, heavy mace, Jasper. Let's see what's up here. Hello. A spoon and some gold. I'll take that. Okay, let's go back. Thank you, Calgy Fat Resub, says Dan Smug. Thank you. Maybe I can take the spoon and, like, throw it at someone and hit them in the eyeball. Potatoes. I'll take potatoes. Uh, looks like laundry. The path is clear. Oh, I, c I could do all the bandits' laundry and not put, like, softener in the in the water so that way they're like outfits are all like stiff and like not comfortable and they're like oh I can't fight as well or I could do something absolutely horrific I could put their reds in with their whites Tread lightly. And then they would have to be the pink bandits forever. A uh, long sword, heavy crossbow, and some bucklers. All I see is the alchemist fire and the tar, and that guy's help. I think I found all the things. Unless there's something outside I could do. Let us be careful. Let's save. You missed the rat? What rat? I need to rest too. I'm, I'm like half dead. Something, what was that? Walls have been really but they're not finished yet. There was a rat in the upper right platform. Well, there's lots of little animals all over the place. They don't really do anything. Let's check outside as well. Empty tar pot. I'll go ahead. Seems someone didn't want this gate to close. Uh, he was saying that he was going to cover them with something so they wouldn't burn the Aquas fire. Not that I should do it. What's anything out here? I don't see anything. That's a big ass rabbit. Let's head out. Okay, I don't see anything else. We're gonna really need to rest, though. Sexy won't let me, like, rest and heal. Oh, you auto rest before the fight. Okay, thank God. Let's see what's up here. Just a rat, and that's it. I think we got all the stuff. I don't see anything else interactable.
Yeah, they're moving really slow too. Okay, I think we got all the stuff, just the tar and the aquaspire. Yep, all right, looks like we're done, okay. Wait, I looted all that stuff already. All right, let's save and see how we do, and please let me rest beforehand. Here I am, see? Okay, saving. Okay, fear not, I'll stand between you and the scum. You're under my protection. Finally, a fight. I was bored with all that talking. Click the box. What? This box I clicked on already? Can we click on it again? Well, these aren't the heroics uh, I was hoping to write about, but I guess even the greatest heroes had to start somewhere. So you're not easily cowed. I beg you, please, and please don't let Oleg do anything too risky. Seva, go hide. We're going to go meet our guests. Please heal the full, please. I can't, Bad Rhymer. It's not, and it's not an end. Three. That helps. Got him. Oh, that bomb is so much better when it doesn't hurt my allies. Fight defensively. Do, 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 do. Throw another one in there. Another bomb. Oh. Oh yeah. New subscriber. Oh yeah. Kicking their ass. Okay, another bomb. This won't kill me. Don't let him kill you. Another bomb right there in the center of them. Boom! <laughs> How do you like them apples? I got another bomb for you. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Smack him. I'll survive. Oh, she... I always survive. Ah. <laughs> We freaking did it. That bomb is really good. A unidentified cloak. Cloak of resistance, nice. Posit longbow. I'm gonna take all the stuff so that I can sell to that guy right there. We're playing on challenge difficulty. I tell you, what really helped there was the bombs. It AoE'd down everyone without harming my own party. I think I turned on the walking command, because they're walking real slow. Options. Controls. Shift plus space V. Pause. Camp, map, journal, mute. Oh, we're encumbered. That's what it is. That's what it is. We took too much stuff. So we're just chilling. 
Olag is barely breathing, but he shakes his fist in the air menacingly. The rats got what you deserved. Now they'll know better than to treat honest people like cattle. And our Bakken here taught them a thing or two as well. Now, my lord, head on up to the guest rooms on the second floor. You deserve some rest after such a battle. You need to clean things up. <coughs> and this is for your efforts. Now don't try to offend me by turning it down. Just take it. An honest fight deserves an honest reward. If that were more common practice in the world, I think life would be so much better. Beautiful. Your voiceover is amazing. I can only do like two voices, so get used to it. We're gonna very, we're gonna slow, cool walk to the door. Since I can't move very fast. Now the problem with this barbarian lady is she just goes down so fast. <sighs> Potatoes, delicious. Maybe I can sell. Tread lightly. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs and sleep. Very cool and immersion-like. Screw it, I'm buying it, chat. Well, if you don't want to buy it, I will be giving away another copy of the game. Right now! All right, if you guys want a chance to win, go ahead and type exclamation point raffle in the chat if you'd like to win a copy of this game. And if you don't win a copy of this game, if you guys are interested in checking out the game, scroll down below the channel, click the picture down there, and check out our sponsor, GOG.com, who provided us with these giveaway copies. Uh, they sell the game DRM free. They're also the developer of Cyberpunk, because they're owned by CD Projekt Red. So any, any purchase of the game through there supports the channel, them, and the person who made the game. Win, 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 win. Give you guys a minute to do that. Raven Field Mint, Silver Ring, Silver Disc, Potion of Vanish. Take all that. And the book. Locked. I don't think anyone has lock New picking. Subscriber. Can't pick locks. Great. Can I Let pick locks? Time. At second level, the Grenadier can fuse a weapon with or piece of ammo with a single harmful alchemical chemical or powder, in this case, alchemist fire. The uh, action assumes the alchemical ingredient, but transfers its effect to the weapon in question. It takes the full effect. Q. A chemical weapon acid flask. Demoralize. Well, that's cool. All right, let's go ahead and rest. I keep hearing kitty. All right, the winner. New subscriber. Thank you, Hopthor, for subbing. The winner of the game is... Rigged. No, it's Dreaded Undead. Congrats. I will give you your uh, copy after the stream is over. Check your Twitch whispers. You wake up from a nasty woman, nasty, sorry, nasty dream that tortured you almost all night long. In it, you saw a wall of unnaturally thick fog that surrounded you, slowly moving closer and closer. A quick look out the window and you find that the fog was not a figment of your imagination, not a dream, and then... Hear me. Please hear me. Can you hear me? Please. The half-transparent outline of a beautiful nymph appears before you. Even in this ghostly form, it's clear that she's exhausted. Her voice is barely more than a whisper as she reaches towards you. Her shoulders are slouched and her large blue eyes burn within her pale face. It seems that only you can see or hear the nymph. Who are you? Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. 
the bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area. A defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. I'm glad my adventure begins with such a beautiful sight. Beauty is so tender. It can so easily be crushed under the blows of cruel fate. But you can save it from being undone. What do you want from me? Aid. Salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Stag Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forests and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. The Stag Lord is responsible for the fog? Yes. It hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. But while responsible, he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade, but even I was unable to defeat him. How can I help you? This fog, it enshrouds, entangles, suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created. But my powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house. And it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his druid were there. The fog hides this place from me, but I can point you to the bandit's camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, Nature will breathe again, and you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. I would like to roll to seduce the ghost, please, Adam. No. All right, I understand. Farewell. I don't believe in fate, stranger, but our meeting seems more than a coincidence. Seems like most of these RPGs team seem to uh, seem to uh, what should we call it? Um, start with like a dream like that. Some location is a good place for this game. Why? Whoops. Whoops. Oh, that was off a little bit. All right, let's see. Hmm. There are no threats in this location. It's a sort of headquarters where you can prepare your party for a new expedition. Such so location is companions don't follow you around. You'll be able to go about your own business. They'll go about their own business. You can speak with them freely to get to know them better. Once you exit this location, turn to the gold map. You'll be able to choose your paintings you wish to take with you. Uh, leaving others here. Wherever you meet, whenever you meet a new companion, but don't want to include them in your party right away, this companion will travel to this location on their own. AKA, the gnome will be here forever. Okay. Good to know. Well, it moves out of the way after like two seconds, Uncle Pete. It's got to go somewhere on the screen. And it spawns from the bottom. All right, let's see. Hi there, lady. Good day. I hope you're feeling all right after that battle. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. Definitely don't want to waste your time, but if you have a moment, I have a request. 
What did you want to ask me? She lowers her head. This is a very personal request. Maybe not important enough for your time. I can really understand if you say no. But the time, the first time the, the stag lord's thugs came here demanding money, they also took my wedding ring, just tore it off my hand. It's just a trinket, really, but it meant so much to me. I remember every moment of the day Olai came to me, that ring in hand, to ask if I would marry him. I was standing in, the, in a fancy dress on the stairs of my father's house, fearing that I'd misheard something or that I'd say something stupid everyone would laugh. If you happen to find my ring among the bandit's possessions, please bring it to me. It's easy to recognize. My name is engraved on the band. There's one more thing. Among the bandits is a dark-haired woman who wields dual axes. She's not bad in a fight. In fact, she can be extremely dangerous and cruel. But I beg you, show her mercy if you have a chance. I can't promise anything, but I do a Karmakasha ring. I'll return it to you. Show mercy to a dual axe lady. Probably her sister, I guess. Someone. I'm going to give her her ring because it's going to mean experience points. And that's the most... The th one thing more valuable than money and loot. Tell me about yourself. How did you and your husband find the courage to establish a trading post in the Stolen Lands? It was Olag's idea, though I supported him. We didn't realize it, how dangerous it was here, of course. In Restop, everyone rejects the Sword Lands, and everyone's accustomed to relying on them. Even the mention of someone like Lady... Uh, Lady Jamandi could be enough to fend off a street thug or some other trouble. He could maybe work some places here, but not with the Stag Lord's men. What's going about the Stag Lord? He's just not some average bandit. If, if no one puts a stop to him, he'll turn the Stolen Lands into his personal kingdom. A kingdom of fear and oppression, and not you, the player, who's going to own it in, a, in the future. Hmm... It would be a kingdom of lawlessness. Once I've dealt with the Stag Lord, your life will improve. I can't thank you enough for the hope you've given me. But please be careful. The Stag Lord's extremely dangerous. Let us be careful. Oh, let me add that to the title that we're playing in, uh, whatchamacallit, challenge mode. Let's see. Right that we are playing in challenge mode. PC. Poof, done. What's challenge mode? It's the mode where there's a challenge. Uh, what's the deal with the ring you always wear on your finger? Ah, oh, this. It's a gift to me from my first teacher. It's magical, imbued with the powers of Shayla, no less. I get myself in trouble. It transports me to a safe spot. So please don't be angry at me if I suddenly disappear from a fight. I'll wait for you here. I promise. Leave and do not return. I don't ever want to see you again. <laughs> Jesus. Tell me about that book you're writing. Well, what is there to tell? You've seen some of my rough drafts already, haven't you? It's a book about you and your adventures. Writing the whole truth just as it happened. Well, the whole artistic truth, you know. No glory, no story. Alright, I have to go. Uh, just don't leave without me. Of course, I should... I could just keep writing whatever you tell me, but I, I welcome to stay. If I want to stay cooped up in a dusty room, I'd still be sleeping through lectures at the academy. All right, let's see. Are there any these voiced, unfortunately? Honorian Night Eyes. 
The elf looks straight at you, through tangled hair falling over her face. Hey, you're an adventurer, right? Seeking your fortune in the stolen lands? You aren't the only one of your kind here. Take my advice. Keep your eyes open and watch your back. Sometimes the only one who call themselves your friends are more dangerous than your enemies. Judging by the elf's voice, it's obviously Saturday with a jug of wine. Who are you? A Noriel eyed eight eyes. Once upon a time, I was a famous throughout the Abalsam. Noriel eyes of the reckless six, while the glory passes quickly. A few miserable decades later, no one recognizes you on the street anymore. What a shame. A famous pathfinder here in the middle of nowhere. Why? You want to know how one could exchange life with a pathfinder for the story drunken rat hole? You lose all your friends because of one scumbag. Then you understand. I was the only one to return from a final campaign of the Reckless Six. Whatever's left of me can't be called a seeker anymore. Let's see. Here's the story. Our leader, Vermet, was the best of us. Wise, brave, friends to everyone. One of those friends, Edvian Edzrin, sent him a disturbing letter. He'd stumbled upon mention of some ancient books on the art of necromancy. Secrets like those are best left hidden forever. Trust me, I've seen what that kind of magic can do. To make the lo a long story short, these volumes are supposed to, supposedly hidden in the catacombs of Gallows Spire. We decided the books should be retrieved and kept safe by the society. We gathered in a tavern, discussed the expedition, and proceeded to Ulstlav. It was a normal mission, quick and quiet recovery, but everything turned out to be much more complicated. We barely made out through the Witchwood Forest. All those terrible living trees, undead druids, and their arcs, arches of bone. It was a miracle we managed to make it out alive. We'd chosen Rinchurch to stop at. It was marked on Velmet's map as a safe enough haven to hole up in and lick our wounds. How I wish that, that had been true. Velmet was the first to perish. He was attacked by one of the monsters hiding in the stables. It tossed him about like a feather and threw him down the ancient well. His shout echoed for a long time and I didn't hear the sound of him landing. And then she paused, turning away, hiding her eyes. Enough. I shouldn't have gotten into this. Who am I to stir up other feelings about others feeling with all my chatter? We'd, we'd better forget about it for now. Maybe I'll tell you some more some other time, but not today. Would you like to join me? Uh, no, I've got things to do already. You better manage on your own. What are you doing here? I sit here waiting for adventurers, adventurers who are in need of help. We may be sitting here in Backwards Tavern, but in Absalom, I have a lot of friends who are eager to make a few coins. They have brave hearts, but shallow pockets. A little gold would be welcome change for them. I can send them a message, and they will come right uh, from Absalom through a portal. If you're interested, just give me a sign. We'll arrange everything right away. Ah. She's the let's make a custom party member person. I see. Well, let's get out of here. Greetings. You certainly ruffled up those villains' feathers. Well, anyway, new day, new troubles. Have you seen the fog? Never seen anything like it before. The road to Restov. Uh, looks like someone spilled milk. It just hung in the air. I couldn't see anything. Through that soup, not even with a torch. Feels like witchcraft to me. I'd bet the stag lord's involved somehow. Rumors say he's he deals with all kinds of bad magic. Show me your wares so I can sell them and move around, please. Yes, let's get rid of all that. All that awful awfulness. It's so much stuff. I should just see if that's better than my weapon I'm using. I'm still overloaded. I have such little strength. Yeah, this kind of voice is going to kill my throat after too much uh, time of reading all the stuff, I think. 
That's why, that's what, one thing that's great about voice acting in this game is it makes it able to stream much longer as a streamer, because you can, doesn't like, you don't have to read every single line, which really kills your voice after a while. I'll go ahead. Uh, Bakken puts his hands on his hips. Ha! Old Bakken still knows a few tricks to impress these blood-sucking dummies. Enough hiding in the damn bushes, I say. Can I help you in any way? He glanced at you, suddenly interested. Well, since you're asking, there's a cave nearby. I used to pick berries in there, but the damn place is overrun by spiders. The berries are red like a lot of raspberries. Fang berries, I call them. I'd be grateful if you gathered a basket of them and brought them back. Just be quick if you do. They spoil quickly. I also need a bucket of moon radishes. They're a rare and mysterious plant. I don't know where to find them, but I know that cobbles gather them and value them highly. It's not a huge deal, really. I do it myself if I were younger, but if you're willing, I'll pay you three potions for the berries and a purse full of coins for the radishes. What the hell do you need these for? You want to know, huh? Well, I'll gladly tell you if you have to bring some to me. Alright, I'll try to help. Just watch out, all right? Don't end up someone's lunch. What do you do here? What's there to tell him an herbalist? I make potions and sell them. All right, let me show me what you have. Okay. Uh, 2d8 plus one. 1d8 plus one, those are bad. That could heal as low as two. Or as up... Oh, man. But they're way less expensive. Can I craft potions? I don't know if there's crafting in this. Let me see. Inventory. Character. Spellbook. Journal. Map. Hold. Stop. Formation. Select all characters. Menu. Nope. No crafting. That means I can only buy potions. I can't make them. Amiri, you are you got problems, girl. That's a formidable sword. It's not just a simple weapon, is it? Yeah, but it's not simple. Check how big it is. Sword belonged to a real blasted frost giant. Killed the beast and took the look this looker for myself. Fits me perfect. My damn trophy. Her eyes uh, flash with menace as if she's challenged an invisible enemy to try to take away for trophy. Uh, we're just talking. You don't like it? it? Depends on what we're gonna talk about. If it's monsters or swords or scars, I approve. That's good. I'm gonna ask questions like why or what for or how do I sell with Twitch Prime? Screw that. Uh, goodbye. Hi, doggo. All right, well, I think we'll talk to the bard. We're missing one more party member. Find where the hell she is. Oh, she's right there. <laughs> Did I get any quests from you? Do, 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 do. I need to take care of the stag lord. Do anything that could help me find him? Quite a task you set yourself on. Staglord has a fortress somewhere in the area, but only a few chosen from the most trusted of his rabble were ever invited. The location of the fortress is a heavily guarded secret. With this fog hanging around, I imagine it would be harder, even harder to find. New subscriber. Thank you for subbing, do night. What else can you tell me about the Staglord? Not much. Not like I sat down and shared a cup of wine with the man, you know. But I think he, he arrived with a stuff in the stolen lands less than a year ago, from what I heard. But soon he, he, as he got here, he took over everything. I wrote to Restov and tried to warn them that the Stagler wasn't some typical gang leader, but they didn't listen. Rumors about him are horrible. He, he'll kill a person if they so much as disagree with him. He never reveals his face. Those who've seen him up close report the same thing. 
Ugly scars cover every inch of his skin, not covered by his clothes. Yeah, well, I think we're ready to go. Talk to everyone that has a class, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. What are my thoughts on the game? The no voice acting thing is, is a bit rough, but... Wait, we slept and they're still not fully healed? Why is this game so stingy about healing? They make it so hard to heal. It's like, like brutal. Just... That so makes me so mad. I just want to... Like we, we have to rest like again and again and again and again just to heal. Like it seems like you get to heal several hours just to heal a couple hit points. It's thilly. Uh, well, there's the cave with spiders in it. Uh-oh. Random encounter. Oh, no. In real life, it, it's very easy to heal. All you gotta do is crouch behind cover, and you heal instantly. It just takes a few seconds to kick in, but, like, you know how when you're injured, like, the screen gets, you, like, your vision gets all, like, colorless? You just hide for a few minutes, and then all of a sudden, the color comes back, and you look at and your wounds are gone. People just don't realize you just have to hide in, in the cover, and you heal. People just don't realize that. So next time, just go hide, and then you're, you'll are you just self-heal instantly. People just don't realize that that's a thing. A jittery old man in squalid clothing shuffles up to you, his gray hair unkempt. He continually clenches and unclenches his wrinkled, feckled hands. When he stops and looks up at you, his eyes widen. He tugs at his beard. Strange weather. Visible fog creeping out of the woods. Soars beyond the sky, obscures the sun and moon. Strange. The old man shakes his head. His eyes keep shifting about at random. I don't like this old man. Looks like the kind who, who can cast the evil eye. Who are you? The man freezes for a moment. Remus. But that won't help with the fog. What are you doing here? I do nothing. Breathe, walk, observe. The fog looks visible enough to me. I see more than ever. I've never seen so much before. But someone must look and no one else can. Visible fog, does that mean you can find your way through it? The fog is wrong. It hinders your legs, not your sight. I wish not to try. I should probably go. The old man stared at you intently. You hasten. You should. Your rival wastes no time. He races, but in another direction. <coughs> he searches for power. He'll find it. My rival, do you mean Tart Tartuco? Tushio? The old man tugs at his beer again. <coughs> <coughs> He's not tall, but wants to climb high. Besides him are those who would stand against him, and might yet still. What power is he searching for? Someone else's. Old but forever young, that which it has taken from another, that which gave joy and now gives death. Can you tell me where he is now? 
He's in an old tomb south of the trading post. Thank you. How do you know we're rivals? I don't know, I see. You can choose where you set your eyes, usually. But can you choose what they see? All the more reason not to linger. Bye. The old man turns and walks away slowly, muttering softly. Once stolen, the land should be reclaimed. Once reclaimed, blinded by the claimer, it shall be. Binded, merged, joined. <coughs> <coughs> By unbreakable ties, claiming the land, claiming its pain, claiming its death. Uh, right. Yeah. I'm going to rest. Takes time to sort uh, to full. <coughs> Manage. Let's see. <coughs> hunting. She's definitely the best at hunting. Who's the best at cooking? Plus seven. Plus nine. I have the best chance of cooking. But I fuck it up every time. Every time I, I mess it up. <coughs> Special rolls. Sharpen weapons. Uh, maintain armor. Inspire competence. I think we'll do that for now. All right, let's uh, it takes that long to rest, it takes two days to heal all the way. I need a healer for that to be shorter. Like, we do have some healing spells. Not much, but a little bit. So here's what we got so far. Today, Amiri killed 10 kobolds, a troll, a hoe dog, and more goblins in the fingers on two hands can count. You know, I don't think our readers are going to believe all this. But it's the truth! I can cut them all down easy. You just need to find them. I can't cook worth the sh I have not passed this cooking test even once. How hard is it to do that? Oh my god. There's only one I meal will. option to choose. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, I forgot to learn that recipe, I think. Okay, well, we're finally full health. Hmm. Well, there's a cave there and a tomb there. Spiders sound like an easier thing to deal with. You spotted enemies. Try to avoid. <clears throat> you successfully evaded the, the enemies. Evade. Boop. Go in the cave. 
Well, we'll see how these spiders are. Well, don't, don't Dan cack me until I've seen the spiders, okay? God. That's a big ass rabbit, Jesus. Wait a minute, what's wrong with our order? Oh, the order's messed up. You need to be in front. time level of so oh. lizard a lizard in crimson here let us strike enemy the near okay don't auto cast Uh, go ahead and inspire everyone with your song. Tear them apart! Boom, 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 boom. Rage. Do, 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 do. Okay, attack. Good job, she crit. There we go. Skin them all. Could someone else? You only get one chance to skin them, and then it doesn't work. I'll go ahead. Oh, that sucks. Actually, I forgot to use... We, we learned a uh, oh, a uh, recipe, didn't we? Actually, I thought I did. Is there an auto-sort button? Oh, there we go. Perfect. I, I thought I bought a recipe. But I don't see it. Also, tank lady, you get to wear the bracers, and I'll give you the ring too, since you're gonna freaking need it more than I will. Since you're gonna be taking all the damage. <clears throat> the tank lady gets to have all of our stuff, all the tank and stuff. Wait, what? Can I be equipped by this character? Oh, only I could wear it. Never mind then. There's dance subs in here? No, there's none. Just a bunch of men with weird mustaches. I see a rock. Ooh, we found some sort of like. The path is clear. A bunch of uh, treasure. Nice. Recipes next to the rope? What? Oh, it is. Perfect. Thank you. All right. This cave should be just fine. The road awaits. Oh. Everyone My spells on. are only castable on myself. Here I am. Our duty calls. See. The alchemist spell can only cast hmm. the spells on himself. All right, well. So we'll save just to be safe. Let me load up on potions over here. And acid. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, the Alchemist is an interesting class so far. A lot of restri restrictions. Cure Light Wounds on her. Yes. Good heal! Yay! Alright, we're going in. Spiders. I am yours to command. Do not falter. Oh shit. Serves you right. Inspire, please. Rage. Oh good. Hit the swarm with your fire. Okay, uh oh. Another swarm on us. You attack the spider. Go ahead and bomb this swarm on us. Do have a torch. Let me see. Oh, a torch is like a weapon that you equip. Well, shit. <clears throat> okay, madam. You need to heal. Drink a potion real fast. Stay behind me. Throw. Throw another bomb. I can't keep this up much longer. Did you drink the potion? Come on, drink it. Avenge me. Nope. Jesus, she fucked him up. Any last wishes? Okay. Uh-oh. Healing. Do 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 do. Cure light wounds on me, please. Let us strike as one. Yes. Yes. Learn this from my mistake. Kill me. It's fine. These swarms are pain in the ass. Learn from my mistake. Survive. I can't do anything about the swarm. Learn from my mistake. Learn from my mistake. Oh, these freaking sp the sw the spiders are fine. It's a swarm. It's bad. Okay, about the spam. The spiders are root the swarms are really, really bad. Okay, we'll have to just spam my flask on them. I am yours to command. Mm. 
serves you right. <laughs> <laughs> 